everybody welcome back to my channel so as you guys just saw i got duncan it is tuesday march 13th i believe when i'm filming this um and i wanted to do another college day of my life vlog for you guys um it's like midterms week so it's been a little bit crazy i had all my classes this morning i didn't film in them because that would have been weird um so it's about 4 p.m now and i'm kind of getting the rest of my day started and wanted to bring you guys along with me so i have my duncan here and I'm currently running some errands because it's midterms week, but it's also the week before spring break. I haven't really talked about my spring break plans on my channel yet. I talked about it a little bit on Twitter, but I'm going to Boston with my friend Daniela for a couple days and then I'm heading home for a couple days. I am super excited. I've never been to Boston and I've always wanted to go, especially because so many people from my school are from Boston. I'm just like constantly hearing about how great it is. Um, and so I texted my friend Daniela kind of on a whim, like, hey, like, do you have plans this week of March? And she just happened to be like on spring break as well. So it worked out really well. We got a cute Airbnb in kind of like a downtown Boston area. And we're just gonna spend a couple days relaxing together, going shopping, getting some nice brunch, going to museums, stuff like that. I'm so excited for this trip. But I looked at the weather. Okay, when we booked this trip, I Googled mid like March Boston temperatures and it said like 55 to 65. Maybe I was looking at an unreliable source, whatever. It's going to be like 30 degrees there next week, um, or this week, I guess. But I don't think I have appropriate clothes for that. I left a lot of my really cold weather clothes at home. So I'm running a couple errands today to see if I can find like one or two more good sweaters to bring with me. And then I need to get some toiletries and stuff like that just to like bring on the airplane with me. And yeah, so I'm parked outside of American Eagle right now. I don't think you can tell, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in and see if I find anything and I will let you guys know. So I am back. I didn't get too much stuff, but I wanted to show you guys anyway and just do a quick haul. I got one thing from TJ Maxx and then some like basics from Target that I thought I'd share. So like I was saying in the car, it's going to be super cold in Boston this upcoming week slash weekend. And I was really hoping to find like a few chunky sweaters or stuff like that. But unfortunately, I go to school in the South and I live in a pretty small town. So there's not a lot of shopping options and stuff like that. But I did find this really cool hoodie at TJ Maxx. It's this velvet long sleeve hoodie. It's so warm and soft. And this is from the brand Philosophy and it was down to $10. So it was a really good deal. It's got a super thick hood, which I thought would be good if it ever like snows or rains one day, um, just because I'll have something to like put over my head and keep me warm. I also liked it because it was still kind of stylish. I'm kind of picturing this with like leggings and sneakers, kind of at the airport, like leaning on my luggage with gold hoops. It's going to be a look. Look out for that. It's going to be on my Instagram. I'm putting the intention out there now. And then from Target, I just got a couple things. I'm planning on going to Target when we get there on Friday, like probably mid afternoon because my friend Daniela is from Canada, so she doesn't have Target. So it's just like an experience within itself. And we'll probably wanna pick up like a few things for the Airbnb and just like stuff for the weekend. So I figured I'd just get a few things now just in case that Target was out of stock, whatever. So the first thing I got is this Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. They're just travel size, it's pretty basic. I don't love these. They didn't have a lot of options at my Target. Like I said, I go to school in a very small town, so options are limited. Um, but these were like 99 cents, so it's a good deal. Fits travel standards, all that kind of stuff. And then I also just got a mini deodorant and a small pack of makeup remover wipes. I really try not to use makeup remover wipes just because they're not that good for the environment. And honestly, I think they break me out a little bit. But for traveling, it's honestly so much easier and it just makes more sense than carrying around like a micellar water or something that can really leak in your bag. So these are super cheap as well, so it was a good deal. And then the last thing I picked up before my trip are these Nature Valley biscuits with almond butter. I've talked about these in a couple of videos now. I absolutely love them. I think that they're delicious. Um, so I'm gonna take these out of the box and just kind of stuff them in my backpack or my carry-on wherever. I wanted to get these just so I had some snacks for the airport on a Friday morning or just like throughout the weekend. I get hungry really easily and I wanted to make sure I had some snacks on me. So that is all that I picked up for now. It's about, let's see, it's like six o'clock now, so it's getting kind of late. I need to make dinner and do homework. I also wanted to work out. I thought I was gonna make dinner first, but I feel like it makes more sense to work out first. So I think I'm gonna work out and shower 
and then I'll go ahead and make dinner and do some homework and stuff like that. I don't think I'm gonna film me working out in my room just because I don't do it that often. So I feel like I'm not like qualified yet to show you guys what I'm doing. But maybe if I keep up with this and you guys would be interested, I could do a video like kind of how I work out in my dorm and stuff like that. I've taken a couple classes like at my school. So I've kind of adapted like what I like from each trainer and each class that I've taken and like into my own little workout session. So let me know if you'd want to see that. I'm going to go do that and then I will catch up with you guys after I shower. I just got out of the shower and made dinner. I'll show you guys in a second. My at-home workout did not go that well. I'm not gonna lie. I only got through like a third of it, but my body was saying that I was done and I just wasn't feeling that good. So I decided it wasn't worth it. I was just gonna shower and take the rest of the night like easy. So for dinner, I just cut up a potato and threw it in the oven. And then I also have some apple slices and almond butter to get a little protein in. And then I'll probably be hungry in a couple hours, honestly, because a lot of this isn't super super filling so if I am I'll probably make a snack then as well so it's a lot later now it's almost midnight here um, you can see in the back I've got my computer and I have like my midterm study guides up and my Spotify and I made myself a cup of tea so I'm just going to be studying and finishing up my study guides for the rest of the night so I figured I'd come on and end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments, suggestions, anything like that, please feel free to leave them down below. I'd love to read through them. Um, all my social media will be linked down below per usual, and I will talk to you guys next time.